A chemist is checking if synthetic blood will penetrate the surgical mask. It didn't, which means the wearer will be safe from potentially infectious blood-borne diseases. In separate machines, they're also testing its water repellency and breathability, a measure to check if the mask is effective against contaminated fluids. They can also check if it's the right fit for the user, which is also very important in preventing COVID-19 infection. Next month, they will also have a new machine that will test if virus or bacteria particles could pass through the mask. The delivery system of the virus remains the same. It is aerosolized. Fit tests have become important because the leakages, sa kapag sinabi nilang may buta sa tagiliran, or you know, we like to have chin masks. We bring it down, or you ear ear mask. These are just some of the tests now available in the country as it opens its first medical textile testing center. This laboratory tests and develops face masks and personal protective equipment not only against COVID-19 infection, but for other medical and occupational use as well. It's run by the Department of Science and Technology. Building it cost 82 million pesos pulled from the government's contingency fund an investment in building the country's response to future health crisis. Marami tayong manufacturers, wala silang ability to have their products tested. Since the beginning of the pandemic until today, locally made masks and protective equipment are sent to facilities abroad for testing. It takes time and costs a lot of money. The DOST even had to pay laboratories abroad 220,000 pesos to test the face mask they developed and 750,000 for two sets of PPEs. With our own laboratory, the agency estimates cost will be cut by over half with a faster turnaround time. Usually, it takes four to six weeks, but we can reduce it to two to three weeks. And aside from that, 50% um, less Yung fees um, for the testing of uh, face masks. And with many face masks in the market, the laboratory is set to help the Food and Drug Administration in checking if these are really within international standards. So far, the FDA has approved nearly 200 brands, but also issued advisories against misbranded or mislabeled face masks. It is especially important in government procurement for the government to check kung Okay ba yung quality of the material so that you can then validate and verify if what is claimed is actually being, is actually what they are, what is the case of that product. The laboratory can start testing from January to March. By April, it will be fully operational. Caroline Bonkin, CNN Philippines.